folks, my name is Ms. Midha, and today we're going to focus on the following question. How do we apply the multiplication and addition rule of probability? So we're going to be looking at a couple of different situations today, all revolving around a six-sided die. But we're going to be looking at different situations, and we're going to have to figure out the probability rule that matches each of those situations. So let's go ahead and get started. OK, Jesus rolls a six-sided die. Now, again, we're going to be choosing the probability rule that matches the situation. And here is my first situation. I'm just starring it right there. So Jesus rolls a six-sided die twice. The first number is an odd number, and the second roll is a four. We need to figure out, of these two choices down here, choice one and choice two, which one represents that situation? That is, the probability such that the first number is an odd number and the second roll is a four. Now, with each of these situations, I encourage you to pause the video and take as long as you need to see if you can answer the question on your own. Once you think you have it for each situation, unpause and we'll continue to go over it. Okay, so I'm gonna read this again. The first number is an odd number and the second roll is a four. Now, why do I keep stressing this word and? Well, every time I see this word and, I immediately think multiplication. Right, I know I have two events. They're being joined together by this word and, and we're looking for the probability of both of those events happening. So because of that, I know that the probability of these two events, A and B, is gonna have to be two fractions being multiplied to each other. Okay, so now let's figure out which one it is. Well, first, I'm, I just said the probability of A, what's A? I'm gonna go ahead and make the first part of this situation A. So what is the probability that the first number is an odd number? Well, how many odd numbers are there on a six-sided dot? Three, right? The number one, the number three, and the number five. So the probability of the, the probability such that the first number is an odd number is going to be three out of six because there's six possible, um, six possible outcomes when rolling a six-sided die. Okay, now what about B? What is the probability of B? Well, B is this part right here, the probability that the second roll is a four. So how many fours are there? Well, there's only one four, so the probability of the second roll being a four would just be one out of six. Now, again, because this says and, I know I have to multiply these two fractions together. And based on that, I now know that my answer to this question will be choice two. All right, on to the next one. All right, same six-sided die. Now Jesus is rolling this die once. The number is an odd number or a number less than three. So what is the probability such that the number is an odd number or a number less than three? Now again, what word do I keep emphasizing here? I'm emphasizing this word or. Because every time I see or, I know that some sort of addition is going to happen, okay? This one's a little bit more complicated than just, you know, straight addition, but we do know that addition will be involved. So again, I know that we're gonna be looking for the probability of A as well as the probability of B and eventually doing something with it. So what is the probability of A? Well, I'm gonna make the first event of the situation A. The number is an odd number. What's the probability of that? That's the same exact one from the last slide. So that's gonna be three out of six. Now for the second part, the probability of B, what is the probability such that the number will be less than three? Well, there's only two numbers less than three on a six-sided die, one and two. So I know the probability here will be two, six. Now, normally I could just add these two together and be on my way, right? I could really just do three, six plus two, six and say, okay, I'm done. However, think about these two events. The number is an odd number, the number is less than three. So it turns out there is something in both of these events that's being shared, right? There's some sort of overlap that's occurring with A and with B. What is that, what is that number that is both odd and less than three? That's really what we're thinking about, right? The number one is actually being sort of mentioned in both of these events, right? The number one is odd and the number is less than three. So because they both share that one piece, we actually have to take it away from our final answer. So instead of just saying three, six plus two, six, 
we actually have to take away one sixth. Again, why is that? Because both of these events share that one number, that one number being one, they both share that number. So we have to take it away from the overall sum of the probability of A or B. So what does that tell you? That tells you that this first box right here is gonna be our answer. All right, let's keep it going. Okay, now we are again working with a six-sided die, but now we have to write a situation in which rolling the dice will result in the probability rule stated below, right? Stated right here. So see if you can figure out a situation such that the probability of A or B is going to equal three six plus one six. Again, pause the video, take as long as you need. When you think you have it, come back and we'll go over it. All right, now there are many different answers that you might say for this one. I'm just gonna provide one, but you might have something similar. So first, I know it's the probability of A or B. So a situation that would result in one of these probability rules or this probability rule, I should say, would be something where you're rolling this die once. Okay, you're rolling the die once. And in order to get three six plus one six, well, let's think about what's going to happen. If you're rolling the die once, what is the probability such that the number is odd, right? The number is odd or four, right? The number is odd. What's the probability of that? Three six. What's the probability that the number is a four? One six. There is no overlap. They have nothing in common. So I know I can simply just add those two probabilities together to get the probability rule mentioned here. All right, last one. Now in this situation, we need to write the actual probability rule, right? We're not matching it. We're not figuring out which one is the correct one, um, but we need to write the probability rule that matches the situation ourselves. So Jesus rolls the dice, the die twice. The first roll is an odd number. And the second roll is a number less than three, okay? So what is the probability such that the first roll is an odd number and the second roll is a number less than three? Again, pause your video. When you're ready, come back. Okay, so we can see automatically, right? Right away, this word and. So I know I'm gonna be looking for the probability of A and B. I know I'm gonna be multiplying something eventually. So let's figure out what the probability of A is and the probability of B, and then let's figure out what to do with it. So A is this right here. What's the probability that the first roll is an odd number? Again, that's gonna be three six. We did that a couple of times, three numbers that are odd on a six-sided die out of six possible outcomes. And then our second event here is that the second roll is a number less than three, right? How many numbers are less than three? What is the probability of three? I'm sorry, what is the probability of B such that, you know, the second roll is a number less than three? It was only two numbers less than three, so we're going to have two out of six. So what does that tell you about this rule? The probability of A and B is going to equal three sixths times two sixths. Okay, so what have we done? We looked at a couple of different situations, all centered around this six-sided die. And we figured out how to write the probability rules that matched each of those situations.